Hey, what's up? This is Will Vargas with Destination Harlem TV. I'm here at Camarada del Barrio. Something's always popping, something's always happening. Let's go check it out. So, Orlando, you opened in 2004. Yes, we did. How did that whole idea work out with opening the business Camaradas? Camaradas, well, we opened up in 2004, and our intentions was to create a, a place where people can can come and relax and have a good time. It's a very loose atmosphere. Um, there weren't very many pub-style bars in East Harlem, so we decided that we wanted that this would be a good location to open up a kind of a Latino-style pub because that's what we did. We combined kind of like uh, the Latin aspect uh, with, with, with the Irish pub kind of model. Our food is very uh, Latin-centric, and it's, 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 it's what well, I call it New York Rican pub food. That's what I call it. It's a very simple menu. We keep our, our ingredients are fresh. We don't buy anything frozen. Most of our dishes are made out of cart, um, which is, you know, kind of unusual for, for a pub, where they usually sell you frozen chicken wings and things of that nature. But we don't, we, we don't do that. Um, our, our food is definitely inspired by kind of Puerto Rican cuisine. Um, we have several different items that, that we felt that would match up well with beer. You know, there are certain uh, items that very few people know about. And one, one of the inspirations for the menu was the cuchifrito, which was, uh, you know, you, you would find these small, uh, small little restaurant, countertop restaurants all over New York, Latin New York, basically, uh, that served pretty much everything fried. And, and, you know, and, and, you, and you could get all parts of the pig in one spot, you know what I mean, from the ears to the snout. Um, from the tail to the snout, rather, and it, we we kind of were inspired by that, and then we, we started to do things like alcapurrias, which is basically a patty, a meat-filled patty, and it's green bananas on the outside and ground beef in the inside, and we also make it out of yuca on the outside with ground beef in the inside. But these were items normally that you would only find in a cuchifrito, not in a right. bar kind of setting, and usually not even in a restaurant setting. It was kind of like you know specific to cuchifritos. But one of the things that we did that was different is that we don't cook a huge batch and then put it on the hot lamps. What we do is that we have them, we have them prepared, but they're raw, and then we fry them. So you're getting, it, you're getting it as fresh as we could possibly give it to you. And you also have specifics on the, your menu. The yeah, restaurant. we have a couple of favorites, things that if I think I took off the menu, people would be protesting outside. One of, one, of the, uh, one of the things that we have that's very popular is the jibaro sandwich. Now, the jibaro sandwich, in other parts of Latin America, they call it el patacón. Um, eh, we drew inspiration from the Puerto Ricans in Chicago. Uh, it, it, the, as far as I know, because you know, origin stories always differ, but as far as I know, that was a sandwich created in Chicago, in the Puerto Rican community in Chicago. And basically, this is what it is. Instead of bread, we use plantains. Um, and in the middle, you have uh, penin, which is, you know, is pork shoulder. And um, you, you cook that, you know, you cook that low and slow until it shreds. And that's, that's the meat in the sandwich. We have our own camarada sauce that we add to it. A little slice of plum tomato, a little, a little bit of mixed greens. And then you press it in between basically two, two tostones. Mm -hmm. And that sandwich is our hottest seller. It's our most popular item. And also, I saw you have a world famous sangria. Our sangria. Our sangria goes by many names. Uh, there are people have called it Santagrias. Uh, people have asked us what's in it. Uh, it, it, it definitely, let's just say, it is the, the, the social lubricant of camaradas, and it's very popular amongst our, our customers. Yeah, people rave about it. Um, uh, I personally don't drink it because I operate under the. Uh, the old school rulers don't get high on your own supply, but <laughs> but um, but uh, nevertheless, I mean it's a wonderful it's a wonderful concoction, and people really enjoy it. And like I said, it acts as a social lubricant in here, and it really gets people going. And also, I know that you do things weekly and monthly. Could you tell us more about that? Yes, we do. Our, in our entertainment schedule, we have several DJs and live bands that are uh, in residency. Uh, that means they play either once a month or twice a month, depending on what arrangement we come to. Um, people like uh, Jibo the Pro that does our Way Back Wednesday party, which was ac tonight, actually, uh, on Wednesdays. And then we have the, the one we're, we're, that I'm really excited about, because people have been asking me for a long time to bring in some salsa bands into Camaradas. 
Um, but I needed to find, I needed to find what I felt was salsa bands doing something new and different. So I found two great bands and what they play the, f the fourth Saturday and the fourth uh, Friday of the month. The fourth Friday of the month is a band called Flacco and the Razor Blades. Uh, and what he brings new to the Sasa game is that he comes from the spoken word tradition. So he kind of works that into his uh, monya, to use a Sasa phrase. Um, and it's, re it's unique and it's a wonderful sound and people love it and they have a great time with it. The other band on the fourth Saturday is Avenida B. Um, what I love about this band, they're a low east side based Sasa band, but what I love about this band is they're not just doing covers. They have their own original tunes. Um, and so I'm really kind of happy and excited of going into the summer, having these bands play the fourth Friday and the fourth Saturday, because I think it's going to be an amazing lineup. And also, Camarados does things in the community. Can you tell me about that? Well, we try to do as much as we can. The, one of the things that we do is that uh, we noticed quickly that there were a lot of nonprofit organizations in East Harlem, uh, especially cultural organizations. Uh, so what we do with them is that whenever they need to do a fundraiser or something of that nature, we've donated food in the past, but what we like to do mostly is that we loan them the space and we allow them to have their fundraiser here during hours of operation at no cost to them. We don't charge them a fee to do the fundraiser. Orlando, thanks. Give Pleasure us our time. This is Will Vargas with Destination Harlem TV here at Camaradas Barrio, camaradasdelbarrio.com. Come down and check them out. This is why we don't work with kids and animals. My booty!